Micah Franklin with Tony Valdez, the Warrior, bringing it down to Albuquerque for the Duke City Throwdown. It's a rematch. You know well about those, Gilberto Mendoza too. What's your thoughts and feelings leading up to this? You know what, this is the second time I've had a, a rematch with anybody. The first time was with uh, Hollywood Raymond Montes. That was a war. You know, this one, the first fight with me and Gilberto, it was a good fight too. You know, he's coming to fight. He's, good. he's a, a two-weighted puncher. He's a good uh, counter puncher. He puts the shots together. I, after the fight, oh, the first fight, I told him, uh, you know what, Gilberto, I, think I, I thought I won that fight. You probably think you won that fight. I said, let's rematch and let's see. To see what happens. So you know he was a good kid and tough. he was really he was tough. So let's see what happens. He took the fight on short notice last time, but that still means you had the fight on short notice too, a new opponent. So what did you learn from that fight that's going to translate to this one? You know what? There was a lot of times where I caught him with some nice left hooks and some rights, and I did, honestly I just admired my shots. I didn't follow through. So now I got I got a new the last camp. You know, I was working with uh, Luis Chavez and Miguel Leo. You know, but it's, it's just so hard because they're working with Angelo to really give the attention to both fighters. So this camp I'm fighting with uh, Sergio Chavez, you know, there's a lot of things that he saw that I was doing wrong, that I was correcting me, you know, just a lot of bad habits from the past, you know, that I was taught into, uh, just taught, you know, and um, I, I corrected those. And let's, let's, give, let's see what happens this fight, you know, we give it hell and, and give the fans always what they want and everybody that's been in my fights, you know, I always give it 100%. So, no, no offense, so how hard was it to get to teach an old dog new tricks? You know what, I've been in the game for so long, bro, it's, I've just been working on it and it's, it's a lot of muscle memory, you know, you keep doing it, doing it, and let's see how it goes, you know, I'm not gonna, let's just see how it goes. So, for my website, for CajunMinds.com, for us here, we got your first fight with Gilberto up there right now as one of our candidates for fight of the year. And it's no surprise to you, you're used to those. So what is it about you that either knock guys out or have epic wars? You know what, I give it 100% every single time. And I encourage all of my fans and mostly to all the kids. And that's, you know, you know I, always go to, I go to the schools and I go and I speak with the kids about about drugs, about bullying. And I always encourage the kids, that whether it is, whatever it is in life you do, I always give it 100%. So I stick by what I'm saying, you know, I give it 100%. When I'm in that ring, I give it 100% and I leave it all in the ring. What should Gilberto Mendoza be expecting on August 15th? A war. It's going to be a fight, you know, I'm going to be there to fight. I know he's going to come to fight. He thinks he's going to come and dominate me. But, you know, everybody has a plan so they get hit. And then what do the fans need to expect? A good fight. Don't lose out, don't miss out, get your tickets now. Get them Ticketmaster, I don't have no more on me, so uh, you can get them at Ticketmaster. Legacy Promotions, second event, Duke City Throwdown. What does it mean to you being a part of this promotion as you guys' second event and you're gaining more and more you know, momentum and more and more fans? You know what, it's an honor to be part of this event because of the fact you know, the first fight we threw at Camel Rock was a really, it was, it was kind of, it was in tough, it was a tough situation because of the fact that there was a fight uh, five mi five miles down the road from us at the Buffalo Thunder, and um, you know we, they had a, they had a sellout, we had a sellout. You know it just goes to show the boxing fans, to the the strong support of the boxing fans. You know, and I want to thank all my fans out there that come and support us. You know, there's been a lot of a lot of going on this. This for this year with boxing, you know, uh, Charles Promotions, we're throwing fights. Holmes Boxing's been throwing fights, you know, and everybody's been showing a lot of support. So get down there, August 15th at the Convention Center in Albuquerque, and, and you guys are gonna see a good night of some fights. Thank you for the time. Thank you. A little warrior with us, Andres Valdez. Your dad's a pro boxer. What do you think when you see your dad in the ring? Do you want to grow up to be like him? Yes. What do you think about boxing? Do you like it? Yes. What's your favorite part of boxing? Punching. Um, Punching? And how, how awesome is it seeing your dad fighting? I like him boxing. And everybody should go out and watch him? Yes. Thank you for the time.